All right, this is another way of doing this. I, I did the Wendell Heithlid uh, to uh, an Anaconda Vod, as I wrote. This one's been pre-written, but still, it's probably just going to be all the more confusing. Than... Oh, that's why I wanted to do both ways. So here, uh, Heithlid Day asked me to explain what Casino McCool convinced me of regarding pi. Right. She used a highlighter about. I use a yellow highlighter. Dun, dun, dun. This thing's fun to play with. Okay. First things first. Um, the issue kind of comes from. It takes a while just to describe what the issue is. This is for height of Pi has infinite digits, right? So that's the first thing, sort of. That's that's the issue. That makes it seem kind of, you know, it makes it seem especially infinite. All right. Now, so let's think of another number that has infinite digits. So think of the simplest number I can think of that has infinite digits. Um, uh, one third. One third equals 0.333 forever in, to infinity in decimal base 10, that is. In decimal base 10. But, but in base 3, base 3. Uh, one third is actually point 0.1. Okay. By the way, this is just part 1. Of many, it'll take a while to get to my point. Okay, so let's talk about how that works, because I just assume you guys don't know how that works. And by how that works, I mean how come one third equals point 0.3 forever in base 10, but in base 3, it's just point 0.1. It's amazing. It's like magic, but it's true. I can demonstrate what I'm talking about. Okay, how that works. Now consider this number here, uh, 43,210.12345, right? Uh, this, this obviously is the ones place. This is the tens place. This is the uh, hundreds place and thousands place and ten thousands place and so on and, and so forth, right? Now I just want to show how this part works, we'll all agree, and then I'll explain that the point part. And basically, we're going to drill down to what it means that pi has infinite digits. Okay, so here's the number <laughs> in base 10. Now, that base tells us uh, what each digit means as follows. The digit positions, first, let's just number them. You know, Zero is this the one's place going up, and then we'll do negatives on the other side of the point. And what n is, is the digit position, is an exponent, is an exponent of 10. Maybe I should use the red. Right, so um, n, this is n. The digit position, okay, right. So if you go back over here, the digit position is zero. Ten to the zero is one. Digit position is one. Ten to the one is ten. Digit position is two. It's the hundreds because that's ten to the two. Okay. All right. So if you're thinking ahead, you're trying to remember what ten to the negative one is. Okay. You might not remember that, but it's it's easy. So here's a number that's like really big, like nine trillion and something point one two. Um, when the n is greater than or uh, equal to zero, and n is positive, then there's all those ten to the five. There's five zeros. When ten, uh, when n is negative, ten to the negative n equals 1 over 10 to the n. So there you go, 1 tenth, 1 one hundredth, 1 one thousandth, and so on. That's what that means, right? So a number like 321 is 3 times 10 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times, oh, I screwed that up. 1 times 1.
and to the 0, which is 1. And point 1, 2, 3 is 1 times 10 to the negative 1, 1 tenth, plus 2 times 10 to the negative 2, which is 2 hundredths, plus 3 times 10 to the 3, which is 3 thousandths, where 10 is the base, right? So to do the same thing, where 3 is the base, <coughs> so 1 third equals 3 tenths plus uh, 3 one hundredths plus 3 one thousandths plus 3 and so on. I don't know why I did this. What the heck was I thinking? So the point three goes forever, right? Again, still in decimal. Or in base three, point one equals one third because one third equals three to the negative one. But it's also this thing. Why? practicing with something there. did this a while ago. I just wanted to get it out of the way. I was practicing with it, and I figured I'd go through it. Um, so here I had the, uh, here I had uh, just random number and how, what it would be in um, decimal if it was really a base 3 number. You got uh, this is all screwed up. Look, 10 to the 3 there, and I got 10. To my, that one's all screwed up. I didn't finish this, did I? Never did check it. Okay, so this one I'll write right now. So this is like this. Um, it equals, it would be 2 times uh, 3 squared plus... Uh, no. Plus one, this one right here, uh, times three to the one, plus zero times three to the zero, um, plus on the point side, uh, one times over uh, three, plus two. Um, ninths plus uh, three twenty-sevenths. Okay, because that's because three equals three to the negative one, and nine equals three to the negative two. One over one over, and um, twenty-seven equals three to the three. I hope. So, see, it does get, you have to keep it. <coughs> All right. So, um, we would have uh, 18 plus, and this is putting it back in decimal, right? This side is base 3, and this side is uh, back to base 10, right? <coughs> could get confusing. Uh, plus 3 plus um, 0 uh, plus uh, one third. Now with this I should convert this. Um, this is, let's say, uh, 9, this one times 9, so that's uh, 9 27ths is 1 third, uh, plus this one times 3, so that's 6 27ths, plus 3 27ths, and I could do it, 21 and 15, 16, 17, 18 27ths. Uh, equals 21 
just thinking why did that come out to th two thirds isn't that weird just I mean I just went one two three and hmm, why is that pattern like that reduced so well I thought we'd have some number of 27s okay but just by going through this process you can see that in base three point one means you know one times three to the negative one which is 1 times 1 over 3 to the 1, which is 1 times 1 third, which is 1 third. Okay, so um, yeah, that's just step one. Okay, <clears throat> right, so you can't do this with pi. Pi is infinite in any base, right? So it doesn't repeat. Anything that repeats like this, you can do a trick like this with. But well, if it repeats, then it's a then you can do this weird polynomial base thing to it. Those are the irrational numbers. They're actually similar to pi in this. In this square root of two is actually um another another sort what the heck what's going crazy all right i better that's part one <laughs>